Hi, hi, listeners of the Nance Faves Pod. Welcome back to episode. Oh, the big one, sixty-five. It is two. the big one, sixty-two. It's 62. the one that after sixty-one and before sixty-three. Um, before so. we intro our guest, I I went for a coffee this morning. Wait, so I, you're just gonna leave our guests in here yeah, in the you dark? Can you, you can't. We'll just give them a sec to warm into it. Okay. <laughs> I went to get. A, I went. I, oh fuck. I went. It's gonna be one of those days. No, it's gonna be a good air. I've had. Um, I went to get a coffee to go on a walk mm-hmm. at. I, first of all, I went into this other, this coffee shop and there was no one serving for like I was in there for probably three minutes and there was no no one came to serve and I was like you're well, running a fun. horrible business so I just left went to this other joint and guess how much I paid for a fi- I, I went in there and specifically said small so they didn't get it misconstrued and give me a medium or a large coffee and charge more yeah guess how much I paid for a small latte at this fucking cafe. I don't know. What do you think? Can I get the person? Has been, answer, you yeah, haven't been intro, intro, so you're, just you're, you're the mysterious you're an voice. Arbitrary yeah, person. Yeah. Four pound fifty. Four pound thirty. Fuck, I, I paid. Off. I paid yeah, not buy eight, off at all. I paid eight dollars yeah. sixty for a small latte, and it was fucking shit. This and I got two beers just then from the boss near ours for beer review, and it was less money than a small <laughs> almond latte, and I got two beers. Yeah. Well, and they were fucking. Not like the cheapest beers. You well, have your solution then? Just stop drinking coffee in that's, the morning and drink two beers. What is it? Hey, that's a good that's a good yeah. call right there. You hear that, Liam? You hear what he said? It's a lot cheaper to drink two beers. It than makes financial one coffee. sense. Yeah. Hold Whenever on. you compare it to Australian prices, it's yeah, exactly. Be everything, everything does sound double. a lot a lot. Yeah. Everything does sound a lot better when you compare it, or worse when you compare it to the Aussies. Ah, oh, nice of you to fucking oh, finally I show up. There he is. I forgot that there was someone else on yeah. this pod. What Enbe, is, where what, the fuck were you? What is even time? We said we bro. said eleven o'clock on the dot. What is time? It's eleven o two. Bro, who the joke is vacuuming? <laughs> Man, I've been to Amsterdam. Okay, did you get to Amsterdam? I've been to Amsterdam. Time isn't a construct anymore. You guys just wouldn't understand. Have you been to Amsterdam? No. Have you, you been ben, to Amsterdam? Ben, you were there for you have were there you for been to Amsterdam. Yes, I shut, have. Shut up, Ben. You <laughs> were there for. T- Two what nights, time, man. you were there for two nights and you said you, to me you, you didn't see you, any you of the city. little smooth brain people who haven't been to Amsterdam, you just don't get it, man. The second... You go there and it just changes the way you think about stuff. See, we think about things on a deeper level now. Mm. You guys are just surface level thinkers. Ben, the second... We've, we've created new neurons in our brains where old things just weren't connected. Now we've got new pathways, new firings. We the, think about the world in a different perspective now. And you guys just wouldn't understand. Do you watch Cocaine ben, Shane on TikTok? What? This wait, guy, wait, wait. Cocaine Shane, he fucking was, he tells stories about when he used to get racked up and just like buy tickets to Amsterdam and fucking go there at 10 a.m. after having a bender all night. See, Cocaine right. Shane and me probably have a lot in common because we can understand and see the world <laughs> in a different point of view now. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got a question, Ben. You stayed up till, I mean, you slept until 3 p.m. On the second night there. How was that seeing Amsterdam? What, man? You, you basically slept until the sun was Did you see any down. of Amsterdam? Yeah, oh, did you really see lights? anything there? Actually? I was traveling the cosmos with my intergalactic being. You know what they say? <laughs> if, you didn't, the if, you didn't, if you didn't shag a uh, homeless prostitute in Amsterdam, you didn't see the place. So did well, you didn't really see it. But we have an actual guest. Yeah, well actually, experienced ben in might traveling be a bit off this set because he's now enlightened from Amsterdam. But we've got <laughs> yeah. a guest and we're going to intro him because it's been about five minutes now mm. and we fucking haven't said anything. So. <laughs> we haven't introed him at all. Yeah, I'll intro the, the mystery guest that no one no one can guess by the voice of. <clears throat> if you can see my Guinness shirt, it might be a dead giveaway. <laughs> Could be all right. Could, you probably have also hey. seen who the guest is. <laughs> also, also, I went to, when I bought today's... Actually, don't worry. <laughs> Do the fucking intro. Oh, my God. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Today's guest is a very, very special one. He's standing at a whopping five foot two inches tall and weighs every <laughs> bit of 18 kilos. He is the host of his very own podcast, Radio Aiden, alongside his very talented producer and best friend since primary school, Rufus Rice. <laughs> yes. If your ancestors are from Australia... His ancestors sent the cunts there. <laughs> <laughs> he is a lover of few and a hater of many. He's been wrongly labelled by the woke left as a terrorist, a fascist, <laughs> a, a lover of children, and a lover of children. If this man and a 2014 Peugeot Spiral V6 twin turbo with stock rims got into a UFC fight, I'd be worried about the car. <laughs> 
He will purchase your family home and replace it with a car park. He will raise the rent of a single mother living in one of his condos despite rising cost of living. He has beaten GTA 5 nine times because he loves murdering innocent people. (laughs) If you've ever been cheated on, this is who it was with. (laughs) This man has stated in three different variety interviews that he believes the boat should be blown up and the gender pay gap should be extended. (laughs) The degenerate descendant of the Ra, the man who shags on top of a car, the uninvited uncle from the UK, the gimp from Galway, (laughs) the donkey dick from Dublin, the bell end from Belfast, the cunt from Cork. Everyone give a warm welcome to AIDS. Thank you for having me. That was oh, a hello. fucking great intro. Cheers, brother. Well done. Hey. Very nice. How I have never feel? been edged so much in the <laughs> yes. podcast. There's one thing, though. The allegations that you said were wrong are actually mm. spot on. That's oh, yeah. oh, right. Ooh, Let's, okay. okay. And also, you mentioned the UK. I'm not from the UK, bitch. Yeah, yeah well, no, true. No, all yeah. fucking island counts. Mm. Everyone is... Uh, hey, about the 800 lose. years of war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but what about, when you, what, about, <laughs> people might disagree with what about when you're driving on the fucking Hume Highway in Ireland? You, you're like, all right, UK. I mean, Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Then you're like, oh, fuck. Now we're in the UK. Yeah. Like, fuck you. It does, you, yeah, know, have, you know, there's no signs as well, isn't there? It just... Because if the there's boys any were signs, driving there the other day yeah, and yeah. it went from kilometers like the speed limit went from kilometers per hour to there's miles no real per hour. border yeah. do you ever parts? take since Ooh. it's an imaginary border you could just take a girl to the like paddock that it's in and shag her there and be like, we're shagging in two countries at once yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that's where you want to yeah, yeah. Like, a lot darker actually yeah. <laughs> one of my friends lives on like the border between the north and the south like right on it, so his bedroom is in the south, and his kitchen. Oh, what the fuck! In the north. Uh, how does it, how does like paying tax work with that? But like, down south, they don't even have postcodes. They're what like, do they do? Uh, Postman just find your house. Wait, so like, on one side of the road, yeah, you use euros, and on one, they use pounds. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm fucking, Ireland's you know what they should real. do? If there's no like real border, just like every year, just Blow shrink it country. by ten meters, and then like get more it, land. Yeah, get more land. Is that mm. your idea of how we get back to six counties? Hey. Hey, I didn't say it. My <laughs> man. If you need a few extra soldiers, <laughs> I <I'm laughs> I've been to Ireland and I reckon that, well, I've been to North fucking Northern Ireland. Ireland. I reckon that, and this might be Solid a bit Ireland. off. Solid this Ireland. might be a bit off. I honestly believe that I could run around the whole of the of Ireland in like a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's not unreasonable to think. Yeah, really how long does not... it take to get from the top to the bottom? Running. 45 minutes maybe? Drive. No, walk. <laughs> <laughs> you Have you seen that guy on TikTok? He's Wait, like, is, is that are you taking the piss? Out? <laughs> 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 Forty five minutes <laughs> <minute> walk. <laughs> Well, you said it so you like calmly, dominantly. I was like, Have oh. you seen that guy on TikTok that's fucking walking from the UK to Vietnam? Yeah. And he's like thirty days in, and he's already like halfway through Germany. And I was like, Jesus, Fuck Christ. he walked to he walked to France in like fucking I don't know where he started in England, but like day six, what? he's in yeah. France. And I was like, Fuck, he could walk. Why the fuck well, would you yeah. have a flight? Remember, remember how big fucking Australia is? Like, that's our, our like, metric to compare the rest of the world is, like, yeah. how in yeah. Oz, it's, like, to get from one city to the other one, you're driving for 12 hours, and it's, like, that's the next yeah. closest city. Whereas, mm. like, here, 12 hours, you can drive across fucking four yeah. countries. This guy, this guy goes to the pub, like, every day as well. I think his name's, like, Chubby... Oh, he's the guy that stops for a beer at every, like, for nah, lunch No, he doesn't. It, mm. His name's, like, Chubby... Won- uh, Chubb- Chubbs Peterson. Nah, fuck. What's it? Chubb- What's another name for wandering? Like, Chubb... Uh, uh, ex- uh, exploring. Nah, fuck. Wandering Chubb- Chubby? Chubby... Chubby Trekker. Chubby Trekker? Chubby Trekker, hey, that's my, it, uh, I think. My, yeah. my Chubb goes wandering when I've had a few drinks. No, hey, like, hello. Mate, he'll, All like, right, he'll, like, set up his fucking... He'll, like, set up his hammock. We're gonna get the beer review, no. He'll set up his hammock... It, like in the trees and shit and he just walks across he's just walking to the fucking Vietnam and then he will like right. stop in at pubs for like three beers and just keep walking he does like 50k a day well yeah there's a guy doing that in Australia he's walking everyone's away. doing that shit now yeah. but everyone mm. you know what's fucked is like it. everyone's kind of copying like since the hardest geezer did that run everyone's like oh I'm gonna fucking do something nuts yeah. but there's this guy from like this town in the UK yeah. who in 1997 started walking from the bottom of South America so it's like the whole world, and he's like seventy percent done, back and he, home. and he had yeah, he's been walking since nineteen ninety seven back to his like country town, yeah, and um, his fucking story's nuts, and I was like, he would be so flat because he's done this for thirty years, and like he'll get done, and everyone's like, well, yeah, everyone's doing that now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you just could, done it before Instagram, yeah, you, <laughs> could, you could almost say he's telling his story walking. 
<laughs> uh, should we do some news of the world? <laughs> yeah, give me some news of the world. I love being happy. I love walking, but not that much. Yeah, all right. Let's all right, just. Let's right, fucking I'll shut the fuck up. It was all the fucking stream. Also, yeah. congrats, <laughs> congrats to Ned Brockman on uh, completing a yeah, thousand that is miles in well, ten days. Kind of. The, he did it before the hardest geezer. Yeah. Right? No. Well, the hardest geezer started before he did. Oh, it. did he? Oh, the, well, did, you know? did you hear about that? This Aussie guy, Ned Brockman. So. He ran around. So uh, he last a couple of years ago, he ran from like Perth to Melbourne, which is like the whole like across Australia, and raised like a million dollars for charity. And um, mm. then, the, like, he finished this, like, two weeks ago. He did a 1,000 miles. He was trying to break the world record for a 1,000 miles around an athletics track, like, yeah, running, yeah. which is, like, a, it's, like, 160 Ks a day for 10 days. So it's, like, four marathons every day for 10 days. Yeah. And he did it around an athletics track, and it took him, like, 12 days. He didn't get the record, but he raised, like, fucking $4 million. That's still fucking mental. Yeah, fuck. Oh, man. It is like, nuts. Yeah, it was nuts. But, yeah, congrats, Ned. You're a fucking... Shout out, mm, Shout out. That was fucked. Give me some news, Zach. Come on, we, bring yeah, it. Oh, should we... Yeah, uh, can someone bring it in? Thanks for that news of the... I mean, that weather app, Ben. You fucking... You told us what we already knew. Thanks again. We've now got Zag's news of the world. Boom. Boom. Uh, welcome back to Zach's News of the World, the show where I find news and talk about it on this podcast. In our first story this week, German police raided a pizza shop in a huge drug bus uh, where authorities found that ordering the number 40 pizza would include cocaine on the side. This discovery comes after a similar bus was made in Los Angeles where ordering the number 24 meal from Diddy's Chicken came with baby oil, rope and a little boy. <laughs> what type of rope? You know what type of rope. <laughs> Speaking of little boys, Millie Bobby Brown is back in the news. <laughs> <laughs> this being a result of her new marriage to Jake Bon Jovi, so son of singer-songwriter John Bon Jovi. Is she married? Yes. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Many have criticised the 20-year-old for her early marriage to the rock star's son, with one fan stating that she is just too young to be getting married. Another said that there's so much more out there for her to see. And finally, another fan said, yeah, she was kind of hot in the first season, but not really anymore. <laughs> Wait, that last one was Drake. In other news, the uh, UK government has begun working with pharmaceutical companies to trial using weight loss drugs to help get obese people back to work. Give me the obese Zempic, baby. The idea is that those uh, that are too obese to be able to work lose their weight. Uh, they will energetically return to the workforce. Although, while the plan sounds somewhat effective on the surface, it all came crashing down when the NHS accidentally gave out injections of morphine to everyone instead making them much lazier than they were at the start. NHS chief Amanda Pritchard went on record saying, this is the one thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> <laughs> on a much lighter and less dark note, the Menendez brothers, who killed their parents after being molested and raped by them their entire life, might be getting a retrial. <laughs> <laughs> this comes after the Netflix show Monsters shone a light on their story and re-inspired interest into the case. In lieu of this, that. there are multiple other biopic shows centered on the criminals now in the works aiming to help the world sympathise with the person, the next of which being titled Flying Into Our Hearts, the Osama Bin Laden story. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be like a young filly in that <laughs> special in like two weeks. <laughs> well, yeah, last, lastly, we have a story from back home in Sydney where a gunman attempted to commit a shooting wherein he, a he hit absolutely no one. Afterwards, the master criminal tried to set his getaway car on fire and failed miserably then as well, setting himself on fire. <laughs> There's no joke for this one. That actually happened. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, no. How the fuck do you miss everyone? <laughs> yeah, and, and then well, set, set himself on fire. On fire. <laughs> what was his weapon? Did he have like an AR? No, the... Oh, I think he had a pistol. He had a blunderbuss <laughs> yeah. and he shot yeah. it once. It like, took him 20 minutes yeah. to reload. He had if a you're... nerf gun with pins at the end. <laughs> yeah. like if you're going out to try and do a shooting, you want to be putting up big numbers. No, oh, we've talked mate. about this in exactly. previous episodes. Yeah. How do people get in, mass shootings for people? It's like, yeah. I would I reckon yeah. I'd get 400. But surely oh, you can just plan least. it. Like, I've played enough card to know how to yeah, set up yeah, a contract. Exactly. We would yeah. sit in school in assembly, like, how many people used to go to our school? Like a thousand. Yeah, a thousand kids and then staff. A thousand kids and then staff. Mm. We would have like a whole school assembly and we would just sit and go, dude, if I'm not saying that like we're school shooters, but like if, if we, we were, were yeah, you could kick you, those if fuckers you, out. You kill one you kill one person in a school shooting, you are in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah, we exactly. would sit there going, dude, we could 40. get yeah. it's hundreds just, here. I want to be breaking records. I you, want to be you like, want to be remembered. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Oh, Ben Christopher, life in prison, got three people. It's like, okay, well that wasn't worth it. Especially you go in with like a fucking an assault rifle with 30 rounds in the mind. Yeah, you're like, and you kill one person and oh, someone yeah. else gets shot in or, the foot. Or, better yet, you find... Fuck, this is wrong. <laughs> you find, like... 
you find a mate and you both sit up like Torrance and then they're, <laughs> when they're walking out of the dude, building, you just all you gotta do Torrance. you block the yeah. exits you get like 10 grenades you're throwing that in first yeah, yeah why sure grenades dirty. getting utilised it's like scattered they're like little rats scattering around then you sit at the exits and mow them down it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like look, home look, land up look, it's, a, it, it's kind of like they're all tragic. It's like you see a school shooting where two people. It's tragic die. when it's they still get tragic. To. Yeah, but then at least when they hit, you know, in the in the teens, they hit like, at least fifteen. Yeah. You're like, yeah, respect. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> at least, at least they did a good job. Yeah, he, first, was, he was good in his craft. What was the first story you said? I swear I had a story for it. Uh, the pizza shop that had cocaine on the side where you could order. Oh yeah, copy Breaking Bad, and that's a true story, isn't it? That's a true story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've told this to you guys, but I had the, when I was swim training in Lavi. Which, fuck, mate, I, I swam for like multiple oh, different yeah. clubs, but two of them were in Lavi. Yeah. One of them, my fucking former boss and coach, got jail time for being a fucking child predator, fuck. and the other that's, one. Um, that's why. Liam's the way he is. Yeah, and the makes, other makes ones, yeah, mate, they fucking, <laughs> there was like this big fucking drug bust in Lavi where it was the same thing. You could order a certain thing from Red Rooster yeah. and then they would like tape meth to the bottom. And it was like the guy who ran the tuck shop at the pool that I trained at. And he was a legend. And then yeah. he just disappeared. And like, yeah, it's fucking, he's gone. That's, it's like this thing in Mansfield at this, the Thai massage joint. When you go in there and you say, please jerk me off, they end up jerking you off. That's yeah, like, so what strange. What the fuck's up with that? Yeah. Is that primary information or secondary information? Uh, it's a bit of both. Zach, <laughs> I did have a question though about Shoot. the morphine one. Is that true? Yeah, that also is true. So, <laughs> The, the way I've been kind of getting my news for News of the World recently has been when I take the tube, you know how they got the papers there that you can just yeah, read the yeah. newspapers? Yeah, yeah, Reading through them. And there's the more outrageous... <laughs> newspapers are better than tube. Google News and Yeah, shit. there's more outrageous fucking news on there than like... Yeah, it's yeah. almost yeah. as if it's scare, real news compared tactics. to TikTok. Yeah, but like there's... So that one, there was just... They're actually... It's not a Zempic, which is what I thought originally. But yeah, they're basically like, we're trialing in Manchester if we give people this drug that'll help them lose weight, then they'll be happy to jump back mm. into the workforce. Well, you can't prescribe a fat person anything because they'll just eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, what, and they just well, ended up giving them be... morphine. No, that, that wasn't true. They oh, didn't accidentally give them morphine. I was, I was like, that is crazy. No, can that we, can that we, would have been the biggest can, fuck can we, up in yeah, medical history. I mean. Can we fast forward to fucking joke swap? Because no, I, no, no, I might no, need no, to leave at 11.45, 11.50. Doesn't yeah, no, no, we'll keep going. Yeah. And it isn't that five minutes away? Yeah, it's only 11.17. We'll keep, we'll keep going. How about you schedule? fucking shut your fucking dirty fucking mouth? Uh, you're the one yapping, bro. Um, so, let's... Should, we, should, we answer, uh, should yes. we answer this question? Answer, answer Do you uh, want to four lad B3W. So, okay, so basically, literally every week without fail, for, I've lost count now, there's a guy that asks Hood or Snip Gang on the fucking YouTube we should keep fucking YouTube. we should keep going a lot we should not answer yet because I'll, I'll be sad when he's gone yeah he's like no, 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 no. okay here we go yeah. how about this we're, we're gonna answer it now how about but Ben answers and then we leave keep me. one for, yeah. for later yeah, yeah. He, and he also needs to uh, he what's needs it to called come up with a new he needs question. to come up with a new question yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't mind seeing we what, what him along else for. he's got up his sleeve yeah. Yeah. Like, try pronouncing his at 4 at dash b3w shout out to you baby Hey, we appreciate you, but you got to you got to come up with um uh, something new after we give you the answer. Mm. Uh, I'm Snip Gang, Ooh, brother. <laughs> Sacrifice to God, baby. Yeah. Why though? What, like, clean, for what reason? Clean, no, that is cleaner, fucking cleaner, such a cleaner, cleaner, that's such a cop cleaner, out lie. Cleaner, Wait, cleaner, what? You know, no, the, disgust, you know, just, you, you know, disgust me. Seventy percent of the world is me. not circumcised. Yeah, yeah. I'm a part you, of that seventy. You, so you am I. Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm wearing a hoodie. Uncut. Dirty nope. motherfucking <laughs> Neanderthal. No, so basically, man. this is the thing that Ben says to deflect. Wait, are you? I'm no, wearing no, a hoodie. Or I'm, I'm hood. I'm hood gang. I'm just yeah. No, so basically, it was a. It was. It, it's a it religious it sacrifice. You always say you hate it yes. so much, but when you had your lips wrapped around it last night, you didn't hate no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> nah, so. No. Well, yeah. Liam's right. It's essentially just like they mutilated kids, and it was a sacrifice. Like, it was a it was pleasure a... sacrifice to God, and the whole claim. And then they just shit, kept if you have it a going. Shower once a day, then you're fine. Yeah. Just it, pick nah. the cheese from beneath your knob. <laughs> yeah, that's so much actually, of an issue. There's, there's actually cleaner. a big. Apparently, there's a big movement in the US because everyone's circumcised in the US, and, and they're it's like, like wanting they're to stop advocating because yeah. like, the US is yeah. like the biggest country that does it. It's a Jewish thing, isn't it? Yeah, it was originally a Jewish thing. Yeah, yeah, and then I control everything. Um. So come up with My a new question. My foreskin has the power to control the weather. <laughs> That's true. But Where just is that? I keep Someone's it in got jar it under my bed. Someone's got it. <laughs> you should put it in like a thing of soil. It and got put in, in a fucking bin in the corner of a hospital. Room. No, I hold on to it. 
Do you reckon yeah, they have a like a job. separate oh, imagine if deck you held, imagine Four is in the wall. Imagine if you <laughs> held on to it. <laughs> fucking hell. It's that like parents that hang on to like their children's teeth and stuff. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. weird. Yeah. That's can fucking we do a segment weird. before we talk about something else? Because I want to do a segment because they're fun and then we can talk about other stuff. I like to fucking get into segments going. Um, yeah, you- well, I can do my stand up. Oh, oh, go on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you just can't be pleased, can you? Well, your mum found well, a way. <laughs> your swim sheets used to please you when you were a young kid. Ah, right. I loved it. All um, right, so. <clears throat> we do oh, wait, a bit of stand up. Actually, is that what we're doing? Do you- well, you push well, yeah, for it, so fucking, fucking now we get it. Butt into everything. We have an itinerary for a reason. <laughs> get mad about it. So are we doing? Th- are we doing? I thought I thought enlightened Ben would be a bit less aggravating. Nah, yeah, geez, yeah, well, you fuck. know what? It only took me fucking two minutes hanging around you cunts, and I'm back in all. Jeez, the character lasted a while. <laughs> um, uh, so for stand up this week, I went in a bit of a different direction, uh, and I decided to do a, a little bit of a roast. You know, because we're all mates, and you know. Mm. Oh, party. that's a good. Yeah, yeah that's a nice. That's um, a nice so for the here. listeners, keep in mind that we're all friends, and this is all just jokes. Jesus Christ, um, where is this going? And I love and respect everyone <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, I don't have much today because I fucking hate you guys, and you're not all <laughs> worth my time. <laughs> Jesus, great start. <laughs> you guys ever seen Liam Dunk? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Liam tells other people that they are really tall because it makes him feel taller. How sad is that? <laughs> Liam is five foot nine. Kill yourself. Oh, you told me I was six four. <laughs> <laughs> Liam has asthma and sometimes struggles to breathe properly. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Liam has lots of really cool tattoos that he paid lots of money for and everybody likes them. <laughs> Speaking of things that everybody likes, Zach is Asian. Oh, <laughs> Zach is 22 and doesn't have his license. All right. What a fucking door. <laughs> Zach is unwell and has a cough at the moment and so he can't breathe properly either. <laughs> Fuck you. (laughs) Hey, Zach and Liam, while you guys are over there struggling to breathe, I'm over here probably jerking off. (laughs) Zach wears glasses because his eyesight is bad. Hey, Four Eyes, can you see this? (laughs) Aiden, thanks so much for coming on the pod today. Too bad no one can understand a fucking word you're saying. (laughs) Aiden commits terrorist attacks against the crown. He tells me about them. <laughs> I do. It's not much of a rose. Aiden is supposed to be Irish, but he's a terrible drunk driver. That's depressing. <laughs> Aiden can grow a full beard. Nobody even likes beards anymore, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Aiden told me he hates Guinness. Hey, 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 hey. Love you guys. That last one was a fucking lay. There we that go. was brutal. Fucking hell. That, that was, that was, that was, was a terrorist attack on the crime. Yeah. Spot on, but yeah. don't bring Guinness into it. I feel like yeah. I got it the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Guys, I'm the, not short. That was the roast. I'm not that sh- fucking short. Yeah. You um, roasted me in like a low heat, but this fucker got absolutely annihilated. Yeah, Liam <laughs> coughed it. Yeah, I know. It was started Why are you crying, Zach, then? Like, had to yeah, so okay, Zach, he doesn't Zach, mean it. Don't Dude, cry. Hey, Zach, it was said a, it was, he said it's a joke. I said it was jokes, joke. man. It was all jokes. But I can't breathe. Love you, man. Love you, man. <laughs> Love you, man. Love you, man. Love you, man. Love you, man. Oh, you, so you boys, while I was in, in Amsterdam enlightening myself and just grounding with the universe and becoming one with God and all that, you guys actually went, went to, to Oktoberfest. We went to Munich. You yeah. did. But it was in the common in London. Yeah. So it was, we went all the way to house. Germany, except it only took five minutes to walk from here. And I went and I we bought, I fu- it was pretty good. I fucking was Polax drunk after oh, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Because I smoked the first Stein. Smoked not- the- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, did, I smoked the first Stein because I was like, there wasn't that many people because we got there bang on when it started. I was like, I don't want the lines to get huge, so I'm yeah. just going to smoke this. And also they were cheaper. Which is like three fucking pints. pints. Yeah. Two pints. Because whenever I got in, we went and got one. Yeah. And yeah. then I was my round next. And by the time I got the stain over to you, I was like, fuck, I don't even know if he's fit for this. <laughs> no, yeah, I was fucking, mate. I was st- we were all standing on the tables. We and- rode ourselves off before leaving. Yeah, yeah. because we didn't yeah. want to spend the money, which was fair, because they were fucking like 30 Australian dollars for one. Yeah. Not a bit more. 
And I was, I straight, when I straight armed like half one, I was like, fuck, that's like 20 bucks I've just spent. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ben fucking Garen fell through the table. Yeah, it which was, I don't even remember because I don't remember. He fuck absolutely all of it. He ate shit. I want to yeah. see the video of that. And like, also, there somewhere. just a fucking little problem with it though. It was great because I was playing like Oasis sing alongs and mm. you would have had a lot of fun. But yeah, it, was it was fucking. Um, it was. Uh, it ended at 11 p.m. and the drinks stopped being served at 9:45. Oh, that's yeah, fucking ridiculous. Was like, yeah. That is the, a joke. Yeah. What, the, like, what? An hour and 15 minutes. And they're charging us fucking 40 bucks for a ticket just to be in there. Yeah, 40, and then the beers. No, 40 themselves. fucking pounds. Oh yeah, 40 pounds. So 80 bucks, and then drinks are that expensive. Like. That's like two and a half hours of drinking. Whenever I bought the ticket, I was like, "Great, you must get a stain with that." Yeah, that's what I assume. There it is. Yeah, but no. we should fucking go and blow it up. Nah, it was is pretty. It's still there because we potentially caught it. Nah, <laughs> I would I love to. Packed it up pretty quick. It was. It was October. Like, we had drinking. a decent amount of fun. I'm 100 like, going to Munich next yeah, year. Yeah, the actual drinking, one would have been a lot. Drinking better. in Lederhosen and fucking the songs and <laughs> dancing on tables and shit and drinking those big mm. fucking steins was fucking awesome. Mm. Even though it was just a little baby version because it was in the common. It did look good though. Getting yeah. us yeah. It was it out. Probably yeah. shit compared to fucking Munich, but yeah. Mm. I still think I was, that if you were there, you would maybe during the fine. day it would have been better if we went to the day session. Yeah, I think that would have been a lot smarter. I was I was throwing out terroristic threats as well, <laughs> yeah. like, oh I, my like God. I tend to do oh, when I'm drunk. How many fucking Nazi jokes glasses. did you make? <laughs> oh yeah, I oh, know. So I was I was I was so fuck. I was smashed. And like, first of all, we're in the tent, and I kept making, I kept cracking gags about how. If this was in actual Germany in 1945, I'd be shot on sight <laughs> and like, from the Nazis. And then I started doing the Sieg Hail and like a lot. <laughs> Zach bought a copy of Mein Kampf and yeah, read specifically, that. And I read the whole. I read, I read the whole thing and then I started, you know, spreading and then he the message. Speaking no, no, no. In German tongue. <laughs> he, got on the, he got on the table and he started addressing yeah. the crowd. Yeah. No, he got on the mic and was reciting fucking passages but, from the book. <laughs> no, firstly, we was like. Um, one of our friends was like kind of risen up like this girl and she was like in a group and I was there with him and so I got like stuck just having small talk with like the rest of the group outside and after like a few minutes I just decided I was like I'm sick of this I need to exit yeah. and instead of doing the polite thing you go like oh alright I'm gonna go back and have fun just leaned into him all and was like, no, I was like Hey, isn't it crazy? I'm going to blow this whole place up. <laughs> then, oh, no, like, I've got a bomb and I'm going to blow this whole place up. And then I just walked away before they could respond. I got fucking, I got banned from Minecraft whenever I was like 16 because I made my account Mein Kampf, but spelled like M I N E. Two weeks later, it was like no longer under that. That's fucking crazy. Remember like fucking before Club Penguin was like, like before there was any policing on anything and you'd just go into the dance floor and just like. Stop rip the most <laughs> fucked <laughs> jokes. <laughs> yeah. Tell the when you tried to steal the glasses. Oh yeah, firstly we, we did end up being successful. We brought him three stones, I think. All it was one that was in the hut. Two or three it? stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that hat, yeah. I had one of them. They're plastic but though. So they're plastic ones, so they're not as good. But firstly, mm. so it was like if you go to the urinals, it was like against the fence. So I was like, my first genius plan for stealing some was like I go. Genius to the urinal after 20 minutes yeah. <laughs> and then throw the glasses over the fence and then I'll go back around the other side to retrieve them little did I know there's a second fence so there's a whole section <laughs> only with security cards on the yeah. other side and I pop my head over to like see where the glasses were left after I'd thrown them over and there was just like five security guys standing there like going where the fuck did these come from and then they just look up at me. the more you talk about this the more it actually sounds like Auschwitz yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, actually maybe we, where are you going hold on <laughs> I did have to break out by fucking digging a hole under the fence. We so. all got through, like, they're like, yeah, go on, leave. And then Zach gets up there and like, ah, not we'll you. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> Come with we us. Need, yeah. uh, we need to keep you around a bit. No, longer. there's extra beers out, out yeah. the back for you. <laughs> you want another beer? Here's another beer. <laughs> but yeah, we, and then afterwards we just, we got smoked and ended up fucking getting home at like 4am. We went to another event. Uh, That's but, yeah. so crazy. Crazy man. Hey man, I'm just Dude, we um, we just my job. We just just my job. We just my job. We forgot to thank the uh, sponsors for today's. Oh, oh yeah. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, yeah, I need a. Uh, uh, the brand. Did you write one? No. Oh, did you get a brand deal? No, I did, they didn't reach out to me. Did you get a brand deal, Zach? Apparently, I'm no. blacklisted this week. Did, which you is didn't? Fucking bullshit. No. So I'm the only one who got us a brand deal. 
Yeah. Okay. Must be all the sucking off corporate you've been doing recently. Hey, man, I'm just doing my fucking job. Yeah, call me corporate. <laughs> That's going to be my new thing. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, man. <laughs> Let me go. I'm doing my job. Okay. Like, you're just like setting up a pipe bomb in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Hey, man, I'm just doing my job. The pilots in 9 11, they're flying. So I was like, please don't kill us. Hey, man, I'm just doing my job. I'm just. Can you All imagine right. being someone that got like called in to cover someone that calls in oh, sick on 9 11? Oh. Yeah. yeah, is there stories? There, there's got to be stories. We should like do a whole 9 11 well, Seth, Mac- <laughs> Seth, Seth MacFarlane. Is, yeah. He was meant no, to be I on mean the, the pilots. Oh, the, the pilots. Terrorists. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they were yeah. like, oh, Muhammad, we need you to come in last <laughs> minute. Oh, yeah. Did you see that fucking plane that like fucking actually just fell out of the sky in like Brazil yeah. or something? There was people oh, who yeah. were meant to be on that Shit. who ran for their gate. Mm. And they wouldn't let him on. Like, no, it's full. Night. please, we've got tickets. And they're like, no, you can't get on. Like, oh my god, now we're flat. And then that was the one that fucking spiraled. Yeah, that's big farmer. The burnt you. toast effect. Imagine, anyway. imagine if um, hold on. Imagine if you were out for lunch on nine eleven, like you were yeah. you were out getting like a hot dog, on having the like street. a fag break or something. Yeah, and you're just like out, like, <laughs> <laughs> having a hot dog in the street, <laughs> and you just look at you like, holy fuck. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> saying that TikTok is like Irish people in two, uh, in 2010, and they're like. It's just them like fucking gaming, and there's the Irish people in 2001. It's like, holy shit! <laughs> it's just them what? like watching the plane. Go. Have you seen? Have you seen the video of the sh- uh, like NYU students that are drinking yeah. in their apartment? Just, 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 just apple juice. Just apple juice. And fans are crazy. It could not have been have better timing. That? I don't think so. No. Oh, it's like the best comedy time. I've got it. I'll show you it. Um, we I'll, sent that to one of our mates, and then he was like. That's a weird thing to pre-game for. <laughs> Mate, look at this. It's fucking... This is real. <laughs> but, but, Jesus Christ. So, it looks so staged. Oh, it looks yeah, like yeah, they yeah, saw yeah. the smoke and like, oh, I have an idea for a TikTok. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That the screen <laughs> is actually like fucked. Like, yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> they it's must like have saw the initial the pacing impact. pacing is perfect. <laughs> like, it's just it's like, what it's like it's direct. It's, it's so out of nowhere. It's it's like, like, and someone's and definitely recreated that. Because it's <laughs> like three, two, one, and it. now nine eleven. <laughs> I think there's only like two. God. There's two like real known videos of the first plane hitting because it yeah. just keeps to the second. But the first one's like this fucking like. Muslim dude or something driving over the bridge. He's just whoa, like whoa, vlogging whoa, whoa. himself. They were all in on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like filming himself and he's just like smiling. He's like showing New York. And then back then he's just the fucking. Well, that was right. a joke. That was, was, was a, a joke. The man on the ground. Be like, I've got a great a angle. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We should say. <laughs> we should thank. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just doing my job, man. I'm just, hey, doing, man, I'm just doing my job. At least with that apple juice TikTok, if they fucked it up, they had a second take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, enough of that. All right. Let's thank. Let's, uh, let's and thank, now, and now onto our brands that we let's love. Thank, that let's, thank us money. Money. let's thank the sponsor of today's video, British uh, Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Not eleven airlines. Uh, it's winter airlines. now in England, and a lot of you are probably feeling slightly under the weather. Maybe it's a runny nose or a sore throat or a headache. Perhaps you need some Panadol to cure your illness. But wait, there is another problem. Your life is boring and lacks any excitement or spontaneity. And also you love drugs. How can all of these problems be cured? I hear you screaming at me through the phone. Well, let me inform you that you not only can daddy fix all of your problems... But he can also do it in a single product. Mm. Impossible! I hear the woke left extremist scream. Wrong. I present to you Panarol. It's just like a regular packet of Panadol tablets, but each packet contains one hidden stinger. Ooh. Ooh, That's like right. It. One of the Panadol tablets will be a stinger and completely hit you for six. <laughs> each time you Panarol the dice on whether you're... Bet whether you best your cold or best a two-day techno bender alone in your room. <laughs> Woken up hungover? Grab a panarol pan- without thinking, and there is a 10% chance you will be back and crumping within 35 to 45 minutes. <laughs> Stop fucking around and wasting that little thing we call a life. Have some fucking fun, you pathetic low lives. 
Stop letting your fucking mates tell everyone behind your back that you're a soft pussy. Nobody will say shit when you replace all the Panadol in your house with Panarol. <laughs> Struggling to roll out of bed? Smack some of this lovely product and get out of bed. Getting out of bed might not be the only rolling you do that morning. Take a fucking risk. Have a little fucking fun. Buy Panarol right now for the low price of $4.85 and you'll receive the Supreme version, which also contains one pill of straight fentanyl. <laughs> oh my God. Do not take while pregnant, not for children under the age of five. Panarol is not responsible for any likely death, addiction, or fent folding. Very uh, nice. You should pitch that. Thanks, Panarol. You know, pick and mix in the cinema. Mm. You go oh. in and get like the random sweets. Mm. Imagine nice. the chances you get one of them in the middle of a fucking three hour movie. I was, yeah. I was going to say, I was almost. For for a while, I was thinking Panadol was going to be like just a Chinese version of Panadol. Like, oh, Panadol. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking oh, as well. That's what, that's what I was going. That's like when, the we're in, um, when we were in Vancouver, me and my mates, you know how you can buy... You got mates. Nah, I paid for them. When, um, when you can... You know how the gummies are legal there? Gummies? Yeah, mm-hmm. like weed's legal in, in yeah. British Columbia. We bought a big packet of uh, Sour Patch Kids and you can buy like the thousand milligram Sour Patch Kids Mm. like gummies. And then we took all the gummies and put them in the packet of Sour Patch Kids and mixed it all up and Uh, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. And then they were just eating (laughs) out of it. Yeah, like a lucky lucky dip. And then you smoked crack. (laughs) Were you there? (laughs) Oh, what the fuck? Um, The fuck? Did anyone notice that... Ben mysteriously going away to Amsterdam li- linked up perfectly with Lily Phillips shagging 100 men in a hotel room. Oh! oh! It's funny because that was actually in our fucking itinerary, but we were going to glaze what? over What? Don't it. say that! That was the perfect <laughs> fucking yeah. transition. You cut it down. I haven't dude. cut it down. I've just said that that's kind of ironic. No, I'm, no, but hey, we're I'm so, just okay. fucking doing my job. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, how wild is that? that is imagine mental. being that one of those insane. fuckers. Imagine being number 100. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> like, oh, imagine we, we fucking were in Ticketmaster for hours and get stuck at the back of the queue. Oh. <laughs> There's somebody there that wants to be number 100. Yeah, he's like, yeah, they're like I fucking not booked a bad this life. He's like, oh, yeah, no, you can get in front <laughs> of us. Like, imagine being, if I was a dad, I'd kill myself. <laughs> yeah, you would. That's like, people that, like, like if your daughter was a porn star or like, Fucking OnlyFans, all that shit. You're like, oh fuck you. You gotta, just, you gotta move on. But yeah. if your daughter does that specifically, I, I can't would move on kill from that. Myself. Yeah. I'd Can imagine, imagine though that that she probably like this is just a long shot, but she probably doesn't have a good relationship with her parents. Mm. Really, I don't know. Stable home, I think. Yeah. So, stable. I reckon, I reckon that like she's if she's doing shit like this, she's probably like for fucking views and money. Having sex with my biological dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. That is what a hundred blokes. I don't even in want to day. think about it. It's fucking gross. How does that even happen? I think like how what, it was fourteen no hours. I was watching her TikToks talking about it. Fourteen watching hours. Watching her TikToks or watching the live stream? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, I mean, you know what's worse than being one of the dudes who shags it? Being one of the cunts who pays money to fucking see it and have a rip to it. That's not yeah. real. That's like, what. That's fucking sad. Hell. Or the people that are booked into the hotel room after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Imagine oh, the smell. Oh. Oh. Being the fucking security guard out the front of the door and just being like, "What the fuck? Yeah. Am How I long doing? do you reckon she? Well, he was just getting until she has sex again, like the next day. Yeah, she's going for a thousand now. No, in a fuck. day. Yeah, she is not. She made a video about it yesterday. She's <laughs> trying thousand. to break the record of fucking in twenty four hours. Yeah, surely by like the hundredth person, it would be like fucking the wind. Oh, <laughs> like there's gonna be yeah. no. It's yeah. gonna be so loose. Do, do you think they organize it so it like slowly moved up in cock size? So like. The last person had the biggest cock, and who the is the producer oh. behind that? Yeah, exactly. Like, like you'd yeah. have to, there'd, there'd have to be some logistics. They need to, to make it, a fucking right? Netflix documentary about yeah. the logistics of this. <laughs> yeah, the that guy who organised the producer of this goes on to do the next Marvel movie. It's like, like you're a wizard. <laughs> you, you walk, you walk past the line of people waiting for the shag, and it's like a spectrum. It goes from like Asian to white to black. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the, the fire festival thing? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's going to be something similar coming out of it this Yeah, thing. coming up about like how one woman got every SDD on the earth in one oh, fucking I love day. how it's like, even though she's like fucking 100, like I know we're condoms or something, you can still get like, there's fucking one that you can still get. It's like. Plus she know. was like kissing them and stuff because she yeah. put up a video of her like yeah. a bit lip or something. She had 
I wonder what the sex talk would have been like. Is she telling every bloke that she, she's the best she's had today? Oh. Or like, hey, you're the best out of the 95 people before you. And then the guy goes back to watch the whole thing and hears her say it to everyone. Yeah. Like, oh, the table special. people to queue up and plan out their oh. fucking Saturday to go and queue up the show. And the, apparently the last, like it was like five minutes a person. Yeah, see, that's what I was curious and about. And then like two, it was like two minutes towards the end because it was like taking too long. So imagine so waiting for two minutes. two minutes. You go in for two minutes and then you just leave and you're like, what the fuck did I just do? I Mate, I would have shagged it for 15 seconds and then had a four and a half minute combo. Mate, with imagine, <laughs> imagine fucking like, imagine like, you know how after you have a rip, you're just like, oh my God, I'm the worst human ever. Imagine what it would have been like after oh, that. That is why. You would be praying for like, if you were to do it at all, top five, but if you got to like 60 and you're still waiting, <laughs> the conversation you need to have for yourself in that hallway. Surely they had a lot of people walk out. Yeah, you'd imagine. But she did get... I think she got 101. Yeah, it's just nuts. Just just had to get that extra one. She's yeah. like, oh, geez, I could really go for one more. Yeah. You come 100. in normally and then come in like 20 minutes later with that hat and sunglasses on for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, fake mustache and the glasses. <laughs> Bro, a fake, a fake think, oh, the it other actually ways. makes me feel like unwell. It makes me yeah. feel like actually like... like Bodily gr- disgusting. It's disgusting. It's, it's a fucking, fucking gross. If thing you're listening to this, Lily Phillips, I know I, you think, oh, it's all fun and it's all money and shit. That is fucking weird, and everyone's judging you. Someone's gonna. <laughs> oh, that's a bit fucking hard. No, it's not fucking. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no. You know what? Fuck you, all right? And what you know what's funny? I what if I signed up for? Say, <laughs> say, say fucking KSI's next video. Shagging a hundred chicks in a day. Everyone's like, "That's my boy." Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh, I doubt like, it. Can I we just, yeah, can no. Can KSI's I... probably not posting anything for a while after his song. Oh, I think Lunchly's fucking... It's not in Walmart anymore. I saw it on Reddit. Is that like blue molded and stuff? Yeah. Probably like the same my, as Lily. I like my cheese moldy, bro. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we do some jokes? Yeah, yeah. doggy. Lighten the mood a bit. Last week, we let some... We were shooting from the hit last week. Mm. There was something in the air. Mercury must have been in retrograde. I know <laughs> I know. Constellation shit's like stuff now because... um. I went to Amsterdam. psychedelics once. Yeah, I went to Amsterdam. If mm. I, you, have you have you been, Liam? You haven't? Amsterdam? Oh, yeah, no, I haven't. It no. actually shows that you haven't been. Um, you know, you you'll get there one day. Me and Aiden went. It's pretty cool. Yeah, changes your world. Uh, but last week, and we were letting them rip, and uh, we still got the best joke swap comment. So let's. I'm excited about today. Um, and. But I should also preface this. Liam has been hyping his jokes up yeah. for a while. so He's been I'm letting very... us know about how good they apparently When he are, wrote so... it, he was like a little kid on Christmas. Like, just... Oh, oh so sort of don't give me a warning next time. So, <laughs> so now that this is the first time a guest has written jokes for yeah. us, Huge. which means this is the most jokes I think we've had. Yeah, yeah 12, 12, jokes, total, 12 total jokes. All right, uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Is uh, this yours? I'll read yours. Yeah, I mean, this is mine. This is yeah. Some yeah. your writing's fucking horrible. Your some, writing, you mean? Some yeah. my writing's horrible. Some of you might already know this, but Ben and I met at boarding school together. We bonded over our shared love of footy, Fortnite, and shooting ropes on the special kids. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What? That's what you guys. I can't to believe do. I just admitted wow. that. I thought we were taking that one to the grave. Yeah, yeah. sorry, Benny. Do you want to go? We'll go around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> you know, they say all good things come to an end. Well, I must be a very bad thing because I can only come to midget porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good stuff. I know because I'm Irish, you probably think I hate British people, but that's not true at all. I only hate black British people. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Uh, that's me. Uh, what do you mean? That was Aiden. Yeah, he that. No, I'm, From, saying, I'm saying that that's me as well. Oh, that's you as well. Yeah. But yeah, you shouldn't right. have clarified just, just British people. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, here's mine. You know, for a really long time... I've been going through a bit of an identity crisis. I'm a really good cook, but I can't drive. Makes me think I should have been a woman. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus, Zach. Jesus. I'm, uh, yeah, at least, at least I'm a good cook, you know? That is wild. <sighs> you know, that's I the other side. Yeah, the other side. That. That's, that's actually Which part the outside. Yeah. Start on this one. Yeah. Okay. 
What's the difference between a Palestinian daycare and a Ukrainian <laughs> food bank? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just launched the missile. <laughs> <laughs> That is a banger! I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh my yeah, god! You're a sick fuck. twisted prick. You're sick you fuck. are fucking crazy. He's <laughs> just, just doing his job, oh man. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm just doing my job, boy. I can't believe you just said that. Oh, that was wow. fucking. Wow. <laughs> That's. That <laughs> is what's going on that recently. Was great. That was that a was fucking. So oh my god. Fuck me, that was funny as fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm crying. <laughs> I applied for my working with children certificate over the weekend. Unfortunately, I failed. Oh. I guess I had the wrong type of working in mind. It's your band. Yikes. He actually works with children too. <laughs> you know, I don't really agree with the Monsters show about Jeffrey Dahmer. I thought it was unnecessary, despicable and appalling. Oh, I'm fine with all of it. I'm fine with all of the killings, just didn't like him being gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. That's fucking... You're fine with all the killings. That's fucking... What the I'm going to hire you <laughs> to like ghostwrite my autobiography because it's like <laughs> straight from my mind. <laughs> wow. Um, all right. Uh, I just got fired from my last job as the focus puller on the, as the, focus puller on the film set of Daycare. But in my defense, I could have sworn that. It was... <laughs> but in my defense, I could have sworn that little cunt said his name was Focus. <laughs> <laughs> focus puller. It's a fucking confusing that title, is, okay? That is, that is very. It's confusing. Is, it was yeah. an intellectual. You can see where you yeah. went wrong. Yeah. It happened like twice when we were sat yeah. these cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a saying I live by that goes when in Rome, do as the Romans do. At least that's what I told the judge when he asked me why I was fucking all of those kids on Epstein's Island. <laughs> what? You were what on Epstein's Island? You were on Epstein's Island. Uh, and what were you doing there? I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> who booked the flight? Yeah, who that did book that flight? 911 Airlines. Ah, okay. I think uh, it's this one. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between Ben Christopher and Young Philly? <laughs> Ben hasn't been caught. <laughs> <laughs> also, Philly is black. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good stuff right there. These are great. My handwriting has got progressively more retarded as the writers. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one I scrapped together just then. <sighs> a, a lot of people... What's the next word? Wait. Uh, wait. I have no Wait, idea what that is. is. Oh, a lot of people out, out there. Uh, a lot of people out there say the Irish have some sort of luck. The luck of the Irish, they call it. Well, I didn't feel very lucky when I got arrested for child porn obsession yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, possession. Possession. That's even worse. Well. <laughs> so you're obsessed oh and you possessed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't those were good. There's one more. Oh, uh, you can uh, really tell that English isn't your first language. Then. <laughs> 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 Off the dome. Uh, an Indian uh. walks into a bar. He's, <laughs> he's immediately asked to leave because of the smell he brought in with him. <laughs> oh. exactly. well, Come on, you can't fucking say that oh, stuff. Right. Fucking in there, blowy. Uh, well, those are our jokes. That was fucking that was that was great. great. That was hey, great. You fucking killed that. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was going you, hard with the first mm, one. That the fucking, first one was fucking was so, <laughs> so funny. funny, dude. Well, you actually were also the first to outsider to write a joke on our joke of the day that we have here. Wait, what did you just say? I have no idea. The There's joke second language. Yeah, yeah. Again. <laughs> the joke of the day we have at our house. Oh, on, on the, the whiteboard. Board. He was the first one yeah, to write it, it again. Oh, did you write it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ben didn't Biden see it because you were Should gone. Should I read it on the pod? Well, I got do you fucking... remember what it was? Because I don't think we took uh, a photo Oh, did he not do it today? No, no, no. no, no this was on Saturday oh. after Oktoberfest. Can what we do it? beer review because I got five minutes? Um, yeah, but let's figure... Do you remember what... It was like... Yeah, yeah, fuck. it was... 
Uh, it was a Jewish one. <laughs> yeah, it was a Jewish one. It was pretty funny. Because I just did one. beer review. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. let's let's move on to beer review because this Liam's got to go. Ever comes back to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did you um, take, did you send? I it might to have me? it in my notes. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Oh, but, yeah. I, I'll, after after the pod, I'll tell you my um joke that I wrote up the other day. Spe- right. A s- special thing about uh, this week's beer review as well. It's like, going to be the first time an outsider has done beer review because we mm. got eight well, uh, mm. We know he's Irish. We don't have to call him an outsider, all right? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone is an outsider, so, <laughs> especially someone of his skin color. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, come on. What do you? What do you mean? We've all got the same skin color. Oh, no, brother. What are you guys so his eyes I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on to beer review then. I guess. <laughs> Beer review, yep. Yeah. So uh, take it away, AIDS. So this basically is a tribute to Guinness. Oh, I mm. fucking love that. And Liam texted me earlier asking me to see if I can get some 0.0 Guinness because he's not drinking for a month. And that is the most ridiculous thing anyone has ever yeah. asked me to do. Kill me! <laughs> Liam's brought us some Guinness for an extra stout, which I believe is Nigerian. The Nigerian really? one. Yeah. And I found it. It's a Nigerian good old, one. Good old-fashioned Irish Guinness. What yeah, is, wait. What's the difference? Is it a little bit blacker? Wow! <laughs> I like that you got both these because I have heritage from both places. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I've already got a Guinness glass. Oh, where? Oh, oh wow. yeah, I bought it out for the pod. <laughs> well, now we got one for each. Um, what? Uh, are you are you skilled in pouring the Guinness out of a can? <sighs> See, to be honest, it fucking hurts my happiness to drink a Guinness out of a can. Yeah, and there's so I many things with it where mm. people like chill the glass. Mm. The glass has to be spotless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we, see, that's we haven't fucking even washed the glass. So. Yeah, that glass looks like it's been. I think this one's a little light. cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll hey, use this one. We were here last better. night. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. A lot of people over here will pour it and they'll put like the tin upside down and like mm. lift it up. And the top of the tin is touching the drink. That's what I normally mm, would that's do. That's what I heard. Is that not the way? Yeah, well, if you let it touch, it's literally been in a factory with fucking rat piss all over it. You know what I mean? Uh, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the you cans. Rat piss half and go for it. It's like people say that all cans, you got to fucking. All wipe cans lead to Rome. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it is fuck. A lot of people would use it, the nitro surge thing. I don't know if you've ever seen it. But it like makes it a lot nicer. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What I do it is pour it up to about there, leave it for like a minute, and then pour the rest in to try and get the head. Mm. I love trying to get head. <laughs> yeah. Story of my life, brother. <laughs> While we wait for that to settle, should I, I read my poem? Yes. yes. Okay. It's fucking great. Right. I'm so yeah. keen. So as I said, this is a tribute to Guinness. Mm. Have we got the same phone and case. Purple. Purple. Yep. Yep. Oh, not close. <sighs> high five. Gay. All right. <laughs> it's purple. You can use purple. These yeah, days. that's no. Nah, just whatever happened there. That was gay. <laughs> so this is a tribute to Guinness. A pint of the black stuff, so creamy and sweet, like the foam from your mustache. Class, what a treat. Mm. Few things get me stiffer than a fine pint of porter. <laughs> just the sight of a Guinness gets me harder than mortar. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful drink from the Emerald Isle. You want a nicer pint, you'll be waiting a while. <sighs> to those who don't like it, I find that quite troubling. Just a sip of a Guinness has my dick doubling. <laughs> oh, oh, double on Tondre. Fucking oath. On Solve. Tondre? <sighs> that like, awesome. continue. Yeah. Solve mm. any old problem you've got on the shelf. Follow along, see for yourself. Ah, fuck, I've got gout. It's okay, have a stout. <laughs> <sighs> Her box smells like trout. Never panic. Have a stout. <laughs> if the wife's took the kids and left you without, it'll be fine in the end. Here, have a stout. <sighs> if she's a three out of ten and you're ever in doubt, drink one more, drink two more, drink three more pints of stout. Very nice. Very wow. Nice. Wow. 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 Nice. For the rest Got of the me feeling stuff. some way. Fuck. Let's get fucking drunk. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those, the, the cans don't fit the glass. Yeah, they're like 500 fucking... mil. That's the best attempt. Maybe, <laughs> maybe just fill it that's, the rest of the way up with the well fucking there. Nigerian. Oh, I'm not mixing that shit. Yeah, don't mix it. Yeah, don't mix that. It'd be stupid. We've, so <laughs> that we, was fucking a very, very nice we, poem. We actually have reviewed a Guinness in a pub once mm. when we came back. But actually, this is our third time reviewing Guinness. But let's, yeah, let's do it ten more. Yeah, let's. We had a, we had a oh. canned Guinness in Australia, Guinness in a pub here, and now there's a canned <sighs> Guinness that? here. Nah. Oh shit! Yeah, you're off. I've had about 400 of them though, and I can give it a rating without. (laughs) I'll give give it a rating without tasting it. Ten. Guinness is my favorite 
drink. Fuck. Do you want to do the? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I've got to leave, but it's been great. AIDS. I'll fucking see you after the pod and see you shortly, Liam. See, yeah. see, see, you, see, you, see you guys at sixty two. Fuck you all. Hey, see you, brother. Hey, you killed it today, man. Shit. Hey, killed hey, killed it, man. Hey, hey, hey love you, man. If you if you respond to that, say hi to me. Enjoy, church. What is this guy? Please, can you guys spend? Five minutes at least talking shit about me. Your top three least favorite things each. Oh, well, right, okay, right, okay. Right. Thank fuck that guy's gone. Yeah. Um, so where does this come from? Fucking Nigeria. And why do they make? Apparently, uh, the Nigerians Guinness? just fucking love Guinness. Really? Yeah. Because I would never think that's a Guinness drinking country. Yeah, there's not many fucking parallels you can draw between the Irish and the Nigerians. It looks fizzy. Oh. That smells the awful. Smell rank. Uh, brewed to Holy travel the fuck. world with more hops for a bold, intense, a rich flavor. This is Guinness with the adventure in its soul. Serve chilled and drink in the beauty of Guinness foreign extra stout. So 2.4 UK units. 7.5% alcohol. What's a Guinness? 4.1. Oh, so it's a bit... Wait, a bit how strong is it? 7.4%. 7.4%. That's a fucking... Spirit, that's an IPA. Yeah. That's so fucking it's a bit, strong. Bit stronger. Have you wait? So have you tried it yet? No, nah. not yet. No. Nah. Is it mm. sweet? It smells sweeter. It's just. Oh, do you want to try? It? It's a bit. Yeah. I don't know what's. It looks weirder. The foam nice. looks a bit. The foam doesn't look white. It looks like brownie foam. Yeah, it's not that. Doesn't nice. look like that. It's creamy just tan. It just doesn't taste like Guinness. It's bubbly instead of creamy. Yeah. Nah. Fuck that. It smells. It tastes like it went off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. This might be the worst thing Nigeria has That's- ever done. <laughs> Yeah, that's not, that's it's not definitely nice the worst thing to ever happen to Nigeria. That's yeah. not, <laughs> that's not nice at all. I'd give that like a fucking four or something. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, so mate, Guinness favorite favorite beer at the moment. It is fucking unreal. Because I remember when I first started having it back in Australia, I hated it. Had was one, it shit back there? I was there? like, it's it's shit. But I just didn't think. You know how like coffee when you start drinking coffee, you don't really like it that much. Yeah, you, gotta to get keep, into it. you gotta warm up to it. Yeah, it was sort of the same with me. Um, yeah. Obviously, I drank it whenever I was younger in Ireland, like maybe yeah. six, 14, 15. <laughs> yeah. But whenever I went to uni, all I drank for years was vodka. Oh, uh, yeah. So I would put away like a liter bottle of vodka. Yeah. Because right? yeah. I'm like fucking 18 stone. And yeah. I've been drinking from when I was like 13. It takes so much of that to get me drunk. Yeah. But yeah. whenever I went back so to the pints, them back. it was like so much less. Yeah, it was slow. get you completely fucked. Yeah. But. I started drinking them a lot more again, funny enough, whenever I moved to fucking London. There's mm. a lot of places that you'd be laughed at Ireland with how shit the pints are. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So we went to Belfast and we could tell the difference. The difference. It was like, fuck, yeah. that's nice. Is it, how is it for you being here? Well, that's shit. It's shit out of a tin in general. There's people yeah. that they chill the glass, the tin be upright in the fridge. They yeah. fucking, they've got the nitro surge thing. And there's a fucking art to pouring it with some pricks. Some people are really pretentious about it. Yeah, like, like coffee, you, like coffee yeah, stores. Yeah, yeah, like connoisseurs. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of good pubs in London that serves really nice Guinness. Yeah. I was over here for Paddy's Day and I went to fucking Trafalgar Square and they had some like parade on. And it was, you beat fucking Arthur Guinness would be turned in his grave. It was that shit. They oh. had them all like sat up. And there you was, was like three shelves of them. Yeah. And they're just there, probably uh, there for hours and they were warm. That. But we need to go to um, Galway for St. Patrick's yeah, Day. Yeah. It's really My good. My friend's done that last year. Yeah. You were saying there is a place in London, though, that's... Yeah, so it's so called it's the Isle of Shillelagh. It's in Stoke mm. Newington. And it's up there with the nicest I've ever had. Where's that? Stoke Newington. So it's like not far from Hackney, Dalston. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe so like, up near you, sort of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That place we went after the... Yeah, that place is nice after filming with um, Collins. Would, so. you yeah. say, would you say you spoke before about uni, that the drinking culture in Irish uni is... Like mental. It seems to be there seems to be a lot of similarities with Ireland and Australia. Yeah. Because even there'd be certain mm. things that you'd be chatting to I've heard whenever you were in low IQ or whenever Rufus was on here. They're like getting iced and stuff like that. I didn't really know what that yeah. was. And that's not like a huge thing in Ireland, but you're aware of it. But it's a lot more just getting completely shit faced from a young age. Yeah. Like in a fucking yeah. phase. I feel like or, Aussies can hold it. Aussies and Irish can yeah. hold it. Uh, yeah. That's that's just the culture. Mm. We yeah. took that from our Irish ancestors. True. I think 
What do, do you have presents? I do, so, I do have like, a present. I heard, yeah, I, I heard there's, there's whispers for, around town that apparently not for guns. our guest, unfortunately. That's, that's um, kind of weird for, for you, Zach. Actually, for me, yeah, is it from Amsterdam? Find out. Wait, see, aren't we? I might actually, here, wait, wait there. I might actually move to there so that this oh, is. yeah, it would have been nice if Liam was here, but you know, duty calls. So the box looks to be kept in good ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Were you playing it's, fucking uh, football it's, uh, with it? It's a uh, really, it's a really nice, really nice box. Really, um, I've really gone to a lot of effort with this one. <laughs> I have no idea just... what the fuck is in there. Okay, let me just. So there's a there's a present in here, okay. and uh, and there's a letter. I get a present and a letter. Present and a letter. Oh, lovely. Um, is it a love letter? No, no, it's just because, you know, Zag's been working really hard recently and I've been very impressed. Have you started paying him yet? We won't talk about that. <laughs> uh, really I get paid in the sip of beer he's that doing, I get you know, The production app. of everything, his jokes that he's been writing. Um, the fuck is this? The hard be? work that he's doing is really paying off. Um, and the sketches recently, you know, the, the direction and the uh, process that we we're all going through for producing that is, is really nice to see firsthand. Did you get um, him a green card? No. We uh, don't want him sticking around. <laughs> All right. And I just wanted to write you a letter, give you a little gift, just to just to show my appreciation uh, that someone is noticing all your hard work. So it's a, it's a white box. It's, it's so a I white wonder box. So carefully it's, packaged. Um, I think you'll like it. I did put a lot of effort into this. Read the letter first, please, if you will. Okay. I can see um, what I can see what the main just the letter is. just the you can put that one down in there. Okay, leave that in there. Oh no! Oh, oh the way around. <laughs> <coughs> All right, it, it's got a date—the twenty-sixth of the tenth. That was yesterday. I don't, I don't remember. Twenty-fourth. I don't remember writing the date on there. Four a.m. <laughs> you you wrote the letter at four a.m. Why'd you? All right, whatever. Uh, to my Scandinavian that sucked the soul out of me. Wait, what? What is this? Can... Is this to me? How are the hemorrhoids? I hope the start of winter. <laughs> Scandinavian. I'm not Scandinavian. I'm probably the least Scandinavian person on the planet. Is this well, meant to be go for someone I else? I mean, just keep reading. But okay, I think yeah. I might uh, have mixed how up my how are the hemorrhoids? Here. I hope the start of winter has been kind to your soft, supple skin. <laughs> I remember man. fondly the afternoon we spent together on the canals of Amsterdam, oh and then the, can- <laughs> the canals of each other. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not for me. Uh, my sweet Pookie, I yearn for you. My sweet Pookie, Ben. Wow. I, I, I knew it was love when you gave me a blumpkin as I desecrated <laughs> over the side of our love vessel. Shit. This, does that mean you shit off the side of the bed while getting does, dead? Uh, the, uh, that blumpkin changed me forever. I can still remember the faces of the family. Oh, the family that was having a picnic as you performed the act as we sailed by <laughs> with, my, with me waterboarding myself and you going buck wild on it whilst you screamed at the top of your lungs, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a worse, worse. I'm, uh, oh, I can see where Amsterdam changed you. <laughs> yeah, Amsterdam, no wonder Amsterdam changed you. Haha, <laughs> my little minx. <laughs> How I have been having some dreams since that moment. The, the rash you gave me has not cleared and it has spread to my anus. What the fuck? <laughs> this is this is not the letter I wrote for you. Each shit is now a battle, and yesterday I passed out on the toilet. When I woke, I thought of you and instantly jerked it like crazy. You opened my eyes sexually in a way, <laughs> in a way I never thought possible. The pleasure to pain combo of hog tying me and putting my, putting cigs out on my goo <laughs> is a memory that will haunt me forever. <laughs> But why do I look back on it so fondly? <laughs> I know you told me to never contact you and to forget our afternoon of sweat, tears, blood, and bodily fluids, but how could I? I have attached with this letter some trinkets to remember me by. <laughs> with love, your little cum slut. XX. <laughs> Bad. All right, so the girl that I shagged in Amsterdam just got a letter to... For Zag and a couple, oh, and a couple oh, of scratchies. So oh. <laughs> that was a big fuck up. That was it. Sounded pretty wild. Um, so I guess what's in this box was meant for. Well, yeah, well, it was meant for her. But I mean, well, I mean you can now. show everyone if they want to see. So um, first, we've got uh, red jocks that are torn to shred. The the ass, no, the cock side has been. 
Uh, ripped out. So, oh, and there's a hole for the so ass. There's, oh, there's it, a good show. It says good hole, um, and it says uh, Blumpkin, Blumpkin jocks. jocks. Yeah, so they are the jocks I wore when I got a Blumpkin uh, okay. on the boat oh. on the boat in the canals. Right. So, How did okay. it feel having your good shoes as an ashtray? Uh, I mean, look, well, I don't really want to go into it on here, but. Uh, well, it sounded like you loved it. I mean, it sounded like it was pretty good. Yeah, well. You do it again? Um, well, man, Amsterdam changes you. You guys would know if you'd been. So. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> well, yeah. you know exactly what I'm talking about then. Um, and then I get a little note with the drawing. It says, one ticket to Blumpkin Town. And it's a drawing of you in a boat. As a stick figure, getting the Blumpkin says <laughs> me pointing to Adam. Well, that was you, just a little painting to remind her of our special bonding moment. And then a uh, then an arrow pointing off off frame saying "Family, Family of Four. Four. Yeah, no, uh, they weren't too pleased um, when we floated by. It's good that you annotated yeah, it just so we know. Yeah. 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 Is but, there um, any? No, that's it. So, well, yeah, okay. that was clearly not meant for you. So, so we got to. I hope she's happy with the just a, like a thank you and some thank scratchies some that scratchies. I was going to give you. Right, okay. she's definitely going to win well, money in them. Yeah, she's thank you. Ben. She's going to win money in those scratchies yeah. too. Mm. Do I get to keep the uh, the bumpkin jokes? Yeah, man, you can do whatever you want with them. I'll just no, go fuck you. myself. I can yeah, dispose yeah, yeah. of them. <laughs> if you... Well, I kind of want them. Uh, all right, okay. But you can use them after I use. Right, so and so and so. Take turns. She's going to be really confused when she gets a letter for Zach. Well, well, thank you, Ben. I, I understand I got the wrong gift, but uh, I appreciate it anyway. Uh, God, well, I fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah. No, I, I, I just hope I can experience something as wild when I go to Amsterdam. Uh, well, you man, you know, I'm Amsterdam changing. You can get, maybe if you go there. One Wait, day, what was her name? name? And how much did you have to pay? Mm. Uh, don't remember her name. Don't didn't have to pay. <laughs> yes, you did. How much did you have to pay her, Ben? All of what I had. All of what you had. <laughs> Everything I owned. Everything you owned. I cleared both bank right. accounts. Did she accept Scratchies as payment? Uh, well, she's going to have to now. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be... That You're was supposed to pay her back with that. Yeah, yeah. There's supposed to be a heap of money in there as well. <laughs> You're putting a down payment on the next Blumpkin. <laughs> wow, well, yeah. I'm actually already planning my next Amsterdam trip. And <laughs> this one, I'm not coming back from. <laughs> I'm going to blow up the Did train station. Did you go to station. one of the... <laughs> <laughs> well, Nobody's you... coming back from it? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's making it out alive. Well, would you look at that? It's Blumpkin O'Clock, I think. Hey, it's thanks for coming on today. Yeah, thank you, Aiden. I appreciate it. Bit of a whirlwind one. <laughs> our, our co-host uh, wasn't here to say thank you because he fucking hates you. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah he doesn't have, that. He's just hiding in his room right now. He We've got that go kind of love here relationship. He's getting a Blumpkin right now. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky man. Dude, we got to get you back on because that was fucking. That was funny. Your Good jokes, jokes actually. You, you had joke of the, the day, jokes. I reckon. Maybe we can do like a Blumpkin special when yeah. we sort of Mid Blumpkin, Blumpkin. Christmas, Blumpkin. Christmas, Blumpkin. Yeah. Christmas yeah. Blumpkin special. You know what else we could do to fucking tailor to that commenter that I always wanted to know? We could do a circumcision special. Oh, I uh, I'm against it, but I'm happy to get circumcised for the pod. Yeah, yeah, for you, content. Zach gets circumcised live on the pod. Live on the pod. Yeah, yeah I reckon you could do it with like them keys or what would you need? Teeth. No, I we'll do it one teeth? night when we're all fuck eyed here. We'll get a yeah, blunt yeah. kitchen knife and just heat it up. A yeah. butter knife. Yeah, butter knife. Butter knife. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just yeah, be yeah. ha- shit faced off Guinness. Yeah, you mm. are honorary Jew, so you'll have to perform the. You the, are. The hey, cut. look, if it if it. Comes down to me, I'm I'm more than happy to do it. Yeah, mm. big fan of your work in the Middle East. Hand as well, <laughs> <laughs> especially when I'm shit faced. If you're an honorary Jew, you probably do it with like a fucking missile strike or something like that. <laughs> uh, Blow the whole thing to smithereens. <laughs> you go for just the foreskin, and the whole thing comes off. <laughs> All right, Jesus. Okay. Another Palestinian behead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's. We're just, we're yeah, just, we're, we're, we're getting sidetracked. We'll yeah. Liam leaves and we walk down a very dark path. Yeah, I missed when it was just 9 11, Josh. <laughs> yeah. It's far more politically yeah, correct. It was, a, it was a lot more in the past jokes. And now we're, we're bringing up more current, current stuff. Current stuff, yeah, yeah, which is a bit more, you can't really get away with it. Yeah. Uh, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try our best. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, thanks yeah. for coming on. Thanks, appreciate Cheers, it. Appreciate it. And uh, it 63 next week. Which is the big one. That follows 62. That's the big one. So leave a comment. Just say anything. <laughs> Just comment, please. It's, please. it's mad that that's like the biggest number yet of episodes you've done. I know. It's that is, the it's biggest number crazy. and it it's, keeps going up. Yeah. It keeps going up. I don't know. I'm waiting for it to end and it just keeps going. Have any of you guys ever no got a bumpkin? No. I don't even know how I go about requesting ben, that. Do you reckon... Ben, you were there. Do you reckon if you're... <laughs> <laughs> you were there. Actually, you no, no, coming back to it now. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon if you, your wife... 
girlfriend, mistress yeah. ever offered, would you say yes? Just to be able to say I'd done it. Dude, mm. after these Guinness shits I've been doing, I don't oh. want anyone near me. Especially with fucking Nigerian Guinness. Oh, Ooh. bro. I don't want people anywhere near me, so I'd have to respectfully decline. I would argue that that just poured straight from the bottle smells worse than your Guinness shits. Yeah. Mm. It's fucking fun. Dude, the Guinness shits are foul. I know we're kind of rambling now, but like yeah. that can oh, be so good. bad. They're so, so bad. I mean, no, that's the fucking. What's her name? Lily Phillips? Yeah. The next thing, given 100 Blumpkins in 24 hours. <laughs> Let's fucking. Oh, what was I gonna say? Anyway, all right. See you next <laughs> week. <laughs> <See you next laughs> <way. laughs>